fact, what haunts Sherwood Forest. It felt like someone grabbed my arm and tried to spin me around. But everywhere is just so wet. Not many places that frighten me, and this does frighten me. Yeah. Just see two figures is walking. And I, I want you to be aware of who's beside you, Mickey, and I'm being serious about that. Maybe Robin Hood's coming, Sally. I must. Where are we, Janet? Thank you. Oh, I'm looking at myself. <laughs> hey, hello. Yeah. They're not the folks on news. What the f is that? The things we do, eh? Crazy. It's not Janet, is it? <laughs> you don't scare us. I shouldn't say that, really. I genuinely sh Yeah, yeah, I was... I'm a bit worried where the f*** we are. I am off to go see my friend Ryan. I'm meeting him at Sherwood Forest. And I'm not, I'm not making up, but this is one of those places that when we do investigations and stuff, we find it in night time, we get disorientated so Yeah, easily. yeah. It's definitely, I feel, just as we're walking down that path, I can feel, and we're just idly chatting, weren't we? We're not yeah, really, yeah. and I can just feel an energy coming in behind me. Not aggressive, nothing like that, but I feel this lady would be quite modern and young. I want to say she'd be about 17, 18 year old, and I wouldn't be surprised if she took her life, because that's how I feel with it. But it's like she's coming with us rather than to talk to us. Yeah, she's just come along for the journey. Kind of like observing. Mm. What are you doing here? Yeah, exactly yeah. like that. Yeah. Exactly like that. But as odd as this sounds, it's not like she, she's not actually aware of me. It's bizarre. You think that normally they would be, they'd come to myself, but they're yeah. not. They're focused on you. So I don't know if it's because you've got a camera or what it is. But. Hello. It's not Janet, is it? No. <laughs> Fucking Janet. Well, Janet's in my car. So guys, welcome to another video. As you can probably tell, I'm in Sherwood Forest with the famous Ryan. Woohoo! And he's taking me on a journey today and into the night to find what haunts Sherwood Forest. And as you can see, he's already picked up a few bits and uh, hopefully we get some more activity as the day and night progress. So are you looking forward, Ryan? I'm, I'm anticipating it quite well yeah. because it is highly charged uh, location, but it's amazing. Like many locations that just switch when the night time comes. Yeah. But when the silence comes as well, this place is bloody spooky. Can't wait. But from where the... So this is the main road where we were just now. And then we've walked straight down here, so then we need to go. But if that, that's a major oak, so the old visitor centre was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's nowhere near. So is that still marked till this old one? No. Tell you what though, as we're heading to the major oak, I think tonight what we'll do is we could maybe put Janet and a spirit box in the middle. Yeah. We'll stand away from it and right in the crossroads, because it's exactly that, isn't it? It's like a yeah. complete crossroads. Coming along that way is where we just had that activity, isn't it? Yeah. So that leads right to this very point. And the oldest tree in the country is that way. That way, which is bull. So I think, Ooh, yeah, definitely. perfectly, yeah, this some... should be somewhere to try and see what we can pick up on. So there's the major oak. How old this is, I don't know. There must be a sign somewhere saying how old it is. Mental and good at what they're doing there, keeping the supports up to keep the branches. Keeping it going, yeah, helping it grow still. Otherwise, it just rot, wouldn't it, and just die. So you remember that old film H.G. Wells, The Time Machine? Yeah. And it goes round and it stays in the same spot and goes all the way back and all that and in the future. That's basically what we are doing. If we stood in the same spot for the length of time that tree's been there, could you imagine the amount of things that tree's seen? Oh yeah. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Ryan, come back! <laughs> it's not funny! <laughs> it's funny! It followed you all that way! There's so many of them, isn't there? Yeah, I know they're Attack of the killer wasps! 
Put your hand up. 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 Put Ah. I'm not running to my car. <laughs> get my coats and that. Fuck that. Get the shower gel out of the Where am I going? Not here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Here. Morrison's done. Snack's got. Snack's got. Kickbox about to be done. Check it out. Costa. Um, Hello. Shall we? Shall we? Honey, shall I'm we? home. Fuck it, we are, but it's only a bit. Can't go in now, isn't it, man? Costa, gotta be done. Go fucking past Costa. It's my baby. My baby. My drinks baby anyway, it's not uh Oh I got drive through. Oh fucking Nora Batty's arsehole, even better. Sorry for my language. Didn't expect a drive through to be here though. What's your favourite Costa? So we're just setting up, ready to go into the woods. Should be good. It's not you. What's the matter, mate? You're not fine, well, what's the matter? <laughs> you're not on, you're not funny. <laughs> nah. You're not funny. I think the way you've made, you're treating me is shocking, and what you've made me do for tonight's investigation. I don't know what, what you mean. You do. Look. It's not funny, is it? I mean, come on, man. It's Costco. Costco. Do you think, listen, Costco, if you're watching, you know, I'd appreciate a sponsor. Because, I mean, <laughs> after all, the dignity has got dignity has gone right out the window. What's a guy? So it is nine o'clock at night and it has been pissing down for about an hour and as you can see we are a bit we wet. So Increase. Is that one in so we got Alice going, we've got a spirit box going which is drowning, I can't really hear nothing because of this weather and, mm. and the noise on these raincoats. We've got Janet in this bag, but it's fucking pissing it down and I don't want to get her out and get soaked. And it's like it's, someone's opened a shower on us. Massive shower. I mean the, the raindrops are coming down are not like just light, it's like big splodges. No. Is there any spirits in here? We asked you to come forward quickly to talk to us. We were here in the daytime today. Just this side of the tree, I'm aware of a male energy starting to come forward just that side of the tree. Yeah, what's just there? Just two branches out in front of us. Yeah. Are you here with us? Can you let yourself be known? Into it. Yes, into it, yes. Normal. Normal. No more. Do you mean us any harm? Would you like to speak to us? Come forward from the other side of that tree if that's you. It's me, does that say? It's me, yeah. Okay, if it's you, come forward, say hello. Four. So. Now I did say... That's the enemy, innit? Do you, um Previous that I said, do you mean there's any harm? Would you like to speak to us? And it said four. So when we talk to spirit, we always talk about a 10 second, 15 second gap between yeah. questions. Yeah. So could there be a delay in what I was asking before? Could be. This is how bad the weather is, guys. Look at Mickey there, he's just sorting the equipment. It's so. The things we do, eh? Crazy. Crazy. We're under a tree as well. Come on, don't make it difficult for us, Spirit. We'd like to talk to you tonight. But the weather is bad, as you can see. Can you help us out? 
That just said no. Oh, that just said no. That did, mate. I heard that. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. So we move to another location. Yeah, let's head, let's keep going down to the big oak. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Definitely. Yeah, man. Do it. So it's still raining. But we've stopped. We've got Janet out. Oh, she, Janet's getting soaked now. Sorry, Janet. Don't kill us. So, Ryan's got the info portal. Is there anybody here that would like to speak with us? Janet, do you want to come out and speak? Janet, are you here with us? Come to join us. Yeah. I don't know if you heard that from there, but you want us to join you. No, not midnight. Midnight? Someone's here. Janet, what location are we? Can you tell us? That said Sherwood. Did it? That said Sherwood. I promise you that said Sherwood. The major oak is just over there, but everywhere is just so wet. So our equipment's gonna get fucked. So we're keeping the info portal in the bag, but we can still hear it. I'm getting that feeling, you know that. Well, I said earlier on when we were moving around it, it's like energy circling. Yeah. But the minute, I feel like it's circling, but then rushing. But then every time I turn to look, it steps back from me. Fucking hell, I keep thinking I'm seeing people walking oh, over there. Keep Just me. over here, they're like walking along. Feeling it, there's people moving behind me. Yeah. And it's always behind me over in front. I feel really uneasy here, but I didn't feel uneasy before. Yeah. I thought I saw someone over there as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, I keep seeing people, but is it people or is it trees? That's the thing. Right, that's enough messing about now. We will show you a bit of respect. We mean you no harm. And now's your time to come forward and speak to us. I must admit, out of all the different bits that we've been to so far, this is the part mm -hmm. I feel most uneasy. And it is like something's about to happen, it does feel... I'm seeing all sorts now. It's, it does feel like, um... I feel either a... I must... Wow. Because right here... I just saw a horse's head and the back, like the, the neck of the body, right there, as if the horse was looking at us. But I know that there's a man on top. I just didn't see the man. Wow. And I, I mean, that was, I don't know if you caught that on tape, but I genuinely shit my Yeah, yeah, I was watching you at the time. My heart fucking, fucking jumped. Come on, who's here with us? You seem to be affecting Ryan. Come and do something to me. I need a name. Love. Love. Oh, do you love me? That's so nice. I don't think that's true, though. I don't feel myself, to be honest. No. I don't think you know who I am. Well, my name is Mickey. Hello. You can't love me. Unless you're Janet, and you've been with me, hi, hello, for so many years, six, seven years you've been with me. I'm sure you don't love me though, because you always make me feel sick. And now we've took you out into the middle of Sherwood Forest, 
in a fucking thunderstorm. We are soaked. Stair. Stair? <laughs> oh, as in staircase. <laughs> but remember, it could be pronunciation. They might be using yeah. stair, meaning stair. stair. As in looking at you. Yeah. Are you watching them? Will you, does Brian see you? Are you the man on the horse? Move. Which might be a let's, good idea. Let's move. Yeah, so let's move. Move location. Change. Change. It says change. You know, we do what they tell us. So That's it. Crazy. Carry a bag foot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wet. Oh, this is really cold and, and wet. That's disgusting. I can't put that in my head. That's, that's just soaked through now. I was using it to protect the camera. <laughs> if you look at Mickey, he's on such a healthy diet. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Two cake. The thing is, is how Mickey is a couple. No, no. Ah, see, I was going to say, everyone has a technique with the wrappers of a Tonics tea cake. Some flatten it out. Some roll it in a ball. Got to be a ball. <laughs> no. We're on our way to the witch's bowl, Ryan, yeah? The witch's bowl, The witch's, bowl, the witch's me. bowl apparently is to stand there and it's very active and very fucked up. So that's what we want. I've never not had an active night there. But then again, the major oak as well, obviously, uh, the centre or the heart of the forest. Well, just so your viewers know, the, the, the major oak's only about 200 yards behind us. Yeah, it's just down there. And this tree that we're at, where little old Janet's sitting, is um, less than what we say, 10 feet from the crossroads. With obviously the witch's bowl to the left. So what we know about the witch's bowl is, um, for hundreds of years, it's been used for animal sacrifice and witches' covens and different things. Hence it getting the name the witch's bowl. Okay. And even uh, allegedly, I have to say, I can't say that it's factual, but allegedly to this day, it's still used by devil worshippers and, like, you know, pagan witches and yeah. things like that. So you think something's with us then, yeah? 100%. I can feel it already. Yeah. I felt it as I walked up there. I said to you, I said, I am feel it already. Yeah. Um, and it's stronger now. Weird, it's just... Weird, yeah. This is not a good energy down here, you'll feel it. This is where there's been, I think, if our memory serves me correctly, there's been over 14 suicides down here. 14? It's common that if you're walking along here as well, and I, I want you to be aware of who's beside you, Mickey, and I'm being serious about that, I know you're recording, but no. pay attention to your peripheral, because people have talked about how they felt and seen people walking beside them as they've been down here. Fuck that. I'm serious. There's been full body apparitions a lot down here. There's not many places that frighten me and this does frighten me. Yeah. <laughs> that puts me on edge now. <laughs> it's like, fucking up. My heart rate's fucking pounding. It could be because you're what you're talking about. That's all. Up here. Whoa! Did you hear that on there? What did it say? It sounded like a military whistle. Did you not hear it? I heard some whistling, but I heard a scream. I thought I actually heard the word scream, but. Right, shine it around so I can see. Sorry, Mickey, I'm being oh. bossy. And you? What's up here? What is? Yeah, we're here. Say hello! Hello! I'm not sure. Oh, mate, there's something. I'm losing my plot here. Look at that whistle again. Yeah, yeah. But we'll just stay here then instead of going into the wooded area. Because that. Huh? What the fuck is that? You alright? Whoa, 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 whoa. You alright, mate? Something's not going on, something. This spirit box has gone weird. Good start. Mm. Step back. Step. Not you, not you, not you. 
Come on, leave Ryan alone. Sit back, sit back, sit back. <laughs> Come on, say hello to me. It's like someone's here and they gra it's like they grab my arm and spin me around. Yeah. And it was like they were trying to knock me out because obviously they'll be aware that I'm, I'm injured. I don't recommend anyone watching if you are injured you go on any ghost hunts no. or anything like that. I've been around for a long time. I wouldn't come out if I wasn't sure that I'd be okay. And plus, I'm an experienced hand. But it's weird how that portal went weird then. It felt like someone grabbed my arm and tried to spin me around. Yeah. You won't get much further into Sherwood Forest than where we are now. Fucking hell. That's weird how that's kind of fucked up. I'd probably turn it off, to be fair. How do you feel? I feel alright. I'm a bit worried where the fuck we are, and the fact that I'm soaked and we're in the middle of Sherwood Forest. I don't want to get lost. <laughs> um, and one light's already gone. And if this guy's... He's got a Blair Witch feel about it. The fucking fuck, man. So I'm quite happy just to stay in this bit now. Yeah, Either my mind's playing tricks on me, like my eyesight in the dark. But I can, I can see a shadow, or I've seen a shadow move across that yeah. path as a curve. I'm not entirely comfortable, I must admit that. No. Um, I feel alright now after that, but that was fucking trippy because it was like, you know if you're lo just at that point of losing consciousness, it's like... Whoa. Yeah. That's what happened, and I could feel my arm. It felt like someone grabbed my arm. I don't know what, if my arm was out or not, but it felt like someone was grabbing my arms. You had it on your head. You were like holding your head. See, it didn't feel like that to me. It felt I'm like. I'm sure that's what I saw. But I felt it was interesting because as we were walking up the other path, I said to you, I'm "Feeling it now," and we felt a bit as we came in. Mm. I just warned you. Yeah. About if you helping you. If... And, and then I also said, if you see anything, you're peripheral. And then yeah. that went. I went. And I'm not entirely comfortable about going any further. No. Well, I'm quite happy to stay here. We're like, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Rain is easing a little bit. It is. Jesus, that's different oh. looking at the night vision. Oh, I'm looking at myself. <laughs> hey, right. hello. I'd like to know the name of the person that has affected Ryan just down there on this path. So obviously his name is Ryan. My name is Mickey. I'd like to know your name, please. You don't often get names through on this device, so we'll see. What happens? You don't scare us. I shouldn't say that, really. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. Okay, you do scare us, but... We're not going anywhere. We're not going to be chased out, as it were. We often talk about the age of different spirits that come through, and could it be that they, they don't understand the equipment? So what Mickey's got, that's obviously the light that went, isn't it? Yeah, that was working fine. And then I've just... I don't know. But the batteries are dry, I don't understand that. I don't know. This place is fucking creeping me out, man. The whole air's been sucked out of the place. It's what... Oh. Robin Hood. It's Robin Hood here. Or as Merry Men. Yeah, little John would have had a few beers, wouldn't he? Or the Sheriff of Nottingham. Yeah. Now, obviously, the Sheriff of Nottingham was a real person. <laughs> They don't know if Robin Hood was a real person, do they? Yeah, so there would have been a sheriff of Nottingham at some point. He would have probably come through here because they wouldn't have had all the infrastructure they have now in the towns and the surrounding areas. The forest would have been like a major through route. They would have had come in here to get food. They would have used these paths to get through. The old horse and carriage. I'd say foot, footstep over there. Yeah? Yeah. Friendly. Friendly. Okay. You're what? friendly. Yeah, I heard like a... Like that. And I didn't move. No, you weren't, you weren't moving. No. What? And when I was talking about the through route and the horse and carriage. Yeah. Just behind you there. Yeah. I've gone really, really cold now. So guys, I'm just showing you what's behind Mickey there. That's the path. Um... Whoa! I know you're moving. I got you on camera moving, but I can hear off to my my, my right, yeah. which should be just in front of you. Yeah. What well, sounds like somebody coming through the leaves. Yeah, it's obviously raindrops coming down. It's hitting the leaves, the plants, the floor, the puddles, the gravel floor. So you are going to hear, hear that natural noise. 
Can you do something that we will notice a difference? Helpless. Helpless. Who you are or we are? Are we in a vulnerable situation? And flat says yes. Rot. Rot. Ah. Rot. Rot. Are you talking about the bodies? The body that was found with no head? I just heard like a scream in the distance then. Oh, I don't like this. Place. Keep going with it, mate. I, I got you. I'm yeah. tuning in. You're right. It's like in the distance, like if, um, say, children were like, oh. Yeah. Strange. So, like a cry in the distance. I should through. tell you that um, on one of the occasions that I was here, I picked up um, a group of children. Child. Oh. Child. <gasps> Fuck you. Oh. Okay, good. Dime. Good. What does it say? Dime. Dime, as in money, dime. Good, good. Good. Amelini. Amelini, is that a name? Amelini. No, it's at an angle, just see it. A M E L I N E. Drop Amelini. a comment, guys. Let us know if you know what that name means. But you were talking about the children, and then it come through child. You can't make that up. No, you can't. And the thing is, is do you want to know what's interesting about those children? In the site that Spirit showed me, they showed me a group of, of little small graves, which would be children's graves. Yeah. Um, and they were all like in a little circle. And then just after I was picking up on the children's graves, I saw a group of children standing, but they had no faces. The children didn't have faces. I couldn't yeah. see their faces. That's weird. But you can't make that, that up. What did I say before this night started, the Alice mm. box? This device tells you the shit that's happening Guys, within you. I'm going to tell you, off camera, I said to Mickey, yeah. but um, I said to you, didn't I? I said, I wasn't that keen on them. No. But I have to say that, how can you argue that? We're talking about a subject that an intelligent response comes through. Yeah. What the fuck? I just heard a growl over there. You know, if like, uh, you're at the zoo, Cloister. 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 No, cloister. Cloister, local to here, is New Stadabi. Oh, uh, they're nuns. And they have the cloisters, which was connected. No, not nuns. And there's a lot of activity that happens at, uh, there at New Stadabi. Could it be connected to the nuns? Could yeah. the children be part of something to do with that? Yeah, going back to that weird growl, if you're in the zoo, yeah, and you hear like... Was that the thunder? I didn't hear anything. I just heard that I... You said growl. Yeah. I just, off to my left here, I just heard a growl. What I was going to say is when a cat, like a panther or something, goes mm. like that, growls, the end part of that that fades off is what I heard there. Now, I do not want to fucking be eaten by a panther. No. <laughs> you know, I'd love to see a black panther because they're like my favourite animal ever, but I don't want to fucking die from one in the middle of Sherwood Forest. So we're obviously both picking up sort of, or yeah. well, actually hearing it. Starting to not feel myself again. With our own ears. Tell them to fuck off, Ryan. Leave him alone, because this is quite good activity at the moment. So I don't have to drag him out with his carrier bag foot. <laughs> All right? That's his foot. Muddy. Muddy. It's very muddy. Muddy feet, yeah, we've got muddy feet. We're wet, we're soaked. We're cold ish. Just give us a message that you need. I can help you if you need me to. Yeah, or go through Ryan, but don't take over him because I won't get out. And I know I'm taking the piss, but I'm not really, I'm just a bit scared. And that's how people deal with stuff. So, hmm? I feel that same way. That... No. Deborah. Deborah. Somebody is fucking playing games with me. Though. Step back from Ryan, please. I think it's, I think it's fine. I feel. I don't feel bad. I feel that it's just because we're asking. I feel that this. I'm oh. Just, Come on. I feel that they're just trying to come forward. That's all it is. Yeah, I know. Maybe some some people haven't spoke to anyone for a while. They need some help. 
They're excited that someone's here to talk to them or talk to you. Speak through this design. But. Important. Important. Okay, I know, I understand. Speak to us. I just heard a hum over there then. Like a hum. It's all in this area. I don't like this area. You know the place where we had the cattle? Yeah. Just over here. Oh, fuck off. Diabolical. I've never heard oh. these words come through before. What? No, I've just heard that. Tell me you heard that. No, I didn't. I was looking at this. What did you hear? I heard... Vroom. It's all, all from there. I mean, I don't know what's in that bit, but... That's the boat. It's all grown. Ah, uh, it's all grown. Fuck's sake. What the fuck? I just heard footsteps in there, then. I'm not comfortable, man. I, I want to... Go. Go back that way. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. I don't feel comfortable with being here much longer. Alright, oh, let's turn it off. I feel that I'm Stop. not maybe in no. I don't know. I don't feel right. Okay. But that I was hearing that. That's fucked up, man. And I heard what sounded like as if I was to walk up to you and go, oh. Yeah. And it was as loud as that, but obviously from a little bit of a distance. Yeah, I mean I heard a couple of bits in there as well. It's not the best area, but I can understand how people could be affected by it. Who else comes into fucking the middle of Salsa Forest in the scary shitty bit in the middle of the fucking night, in the rain, in a storm? Huh? Who else fucking does that? Um, just us two, I think. Just to us two idiots. One of which were broken fucking legs. Yeah, broken legs. He's got a nice cuss cut back, it's fine. And if that's not dedication... Mm. So we roll, boys and girls. I will say, if you're, if you're watching, and guys, please, for the love of all things paranormal, do not take unnecessary risks. We know what we're doing. I'm not suggesting you're the be-all and end-all, but just be sensible about what you're doing. Yeah. Don't be a dick and think, oh, you can do this. Let's just go out there. You know. Because even though we have the experience we have, Mickey, you know yourself, if one of us go down, that's a hell of a drag for. <laughs> Even if it was you that went down, that's going to be a. You'd be fucked, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Carry me. You can't walk. More things happen when you're ignoring the spirits and you're just chatting amongst yourselves. <laughs> when you want to break, when you're not actually calling out. See, because they're like, wait, what are you doing? The thing is, when we go to locations and stuff, chairs, doors, windows, whatever it might be that might make noises or be thrown at you, that's all well and good, that's brilliant, levitating tables. But what I find in my experiences, I find it more entertaining and more enjoyable to get the little things that happen. You know, like what we just had there. Yeah. That for me is huge. Oh, that's cool. If we go back and someone says, look, so how did the night go, lads? And the first thing I'm gonna say is, well, how do, how do you explain that, kids? Yeah. That, the timing of that was unreal. Yeah, child, yeah. Yeah, that's it, child. That's what I'm saying. Now, big up to Andy Bailey, Infrareddy. Absolutely. It's, uh, every time I use it, I just can't explain it. Can't explain it. No. Anything could be in here. Of course, yeah. You talk about growling. Yeah, I heard growling twice. Yeah, but that's not... It's not like... It couldn't be like a cat or a... Well, in theory, it could live here, yeah, but people would see it, but, you know. Being such a busy area, it might keep out the way, you know. Yeah. 800 and 1100 years old. Wow. Fair enough. I like putting myself in situations like this, where I don't know where the fuck I am, and it's pretty spooky and weird stuff is happening around me noises i can't explain so yeah for me that's what i like doing the most because obviously i don't have any gifts really within the paranormal just putting myself in scary ass situations so some people won't do that some people will I'm not gonna lie i'll be very happy when i see my car <laughs> to be fair so i can change my shoes have a bit of food have a drink Maybe and uh, do a little TikTok live on Ryan's channel on TikTok, Viking 2.0. Go check him out. It's 
after we made it about 40 minutes i'd say half hour 40 minutes we walk back through the woods we managed to figure out where we were going and we've just met two blokes on quads driving in the middle of it sort of moaning what are you doing in the woods luckily we're next to the main road so we can fucking get out what a fucking night and i'm so happy we're back at the car Definitely. Are you pleased with tonight, how it's gone? I am certainly more open-minded about different things. Um, freaked out. It's been, I think I've had all sorts of different emotions tonight. Mm. And I, I hope you all enjoy me getting a little bit frightened by the hops. <laughs> yeah, the weather conditions were really bad at certain points tonight. And we trekked 45 minutes to an hour in the middle of Sherwood Forest, in the middle of the night. And probably the most famous forest, or one of the most famous forests in the world. Yeah. Is it haunted? Fuck I mean, yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Does it need another investigation? Fuck yes. Absolutely. So, thank you, Ryan, for inviting me down. No worries. And uh, if you want to see us come back, drop a comment. Yeah, if you like the video, subscribe. If you're new, if you are, hello, this is my channel. I'm Mickey, and this is my good friend, Ryan. Big up. Yeah. So. And remember, I said it earlier on, I know I'm, I don't want to be the old boring teacher routine but for goodness sake if you are an uh, avid paranormal investigator do not go out on your own do not go in extreme weather conditions and do not take any unnecessary risks mm. no need. tell someone where you're going as well so we'll see you next video guys see you later